Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or what's good if you're new and you're just passing by, I'm Jordan. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing something extremely different. I have never done any type of luxury video on my channel before. If you're already a subscriber, you know that. And I kind of have been apprehensive, honestly, for like months now about showing certain things on my channel, but obviously I have my own reasons why I've purchased stuff. A lot of stuff was pre-loved. And ultimately I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see some items that I have been extremely, extremely thankful and blessed that I've even been able to buy. Um, but I was, you know, a little worried with social media and the way that people seem to perceive someone once they buy something nice or they show a Louis Vuitton bag or a car or something. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like people's minds go to the worst. Like, oh, you're, you've changed now. You're bougie. Like, and it completely changes their perception on your, who you are as a person, which is really unfortunate. Um, but you guys know I'm all about budgeting, couponing, like literally that's the reason I've been able to buy some of this stuff because I've been so diligent with saving and with purchasing other things in my life like clothing and like going to Ross and TJ Maxx and saving money in so many other areas of my life that I have been able to save up and ultimately treat myself to a few things. And I was just really blown away and grateful on Twitter. I got like 50 responses to my one tweet that I sent out asking if you wanted to see this stuff. Literally all of you guys were like, yes girl, you worked so hard for that. I want to see it. Give us the details. Like please review the bags. That will motivate me to work harder. And ultimately that's all I want to do. As you guys know with like the Boss Babe series and just everything I share on my channel, I want to just remind you any quality of life or material possession or anything that you desire is not out of reach. And this year, you know, I just decided kind of like the theme of Seven Rings. Like this is my year to treat myself. It's my money. I worked hard. I'm a really good saver. And ultimately if I want to get a few nice things, I'm gonna do that. This is also a year where I put on my vision board that I wanna travel a lot. So this whole like haul started with me wanting one Louis Vuitton travel bag, just one. But then I got it, it was my very first Louis Vuitton ever and I realized the quality was just stellar and I could obviously like keep it for life. It just made so well and it really did make me want a few other things. I just wanna say real quick at the beginning, this is not like, oh, I went to Rodeo one day and just blew all this money, no, no, no. These are all purchases from within the past year. I'm just rounding them up in one video and I guess it's kinda of like a haul because I've never shown anything on my channel before, but you know, this is not Nicolette's channel. We're not going to Gucci and blowing like 30K in a day. No, ma'am. Uh, hashtag goals. Um, and I also wanna tell you guys in this video, I am doing a Louis Vuitton giveaway. Yes, you heard right. I am purchasing a Louis Vuitton, either like a little zippy wallet or a card holder or whatever you want, whatever color you want, whatever like monogram design you want. I will purchase it online uh, for you and send it right to you because I really wanna make sure you guys know I don't wanna share anything like luxury or like high end on my channel without giving something back to you guys. And I also wanna make it very, very clear that I'm so aware lighting totally just changed. Um, I'm so aware that I only have the success and support that I do due to you guys. And I just want to say thank you so much again. So um, as you're watching right now, give this video a like if you want to enter the Louis Vuitton giveaway. You have to be subscribed to my channel. I will be checking just because I obviously want to make sure on a high-end purchase, I'm giving it to someone who supports me. Um, and you have to hit the notification bell. Be sure to check the description box for all the rules, but I'll probably run the giveaway from for like a week or two from today. Um, and I'm just very grateful that I'm able to give that back to you guys and I hope it makes one of your day. So yeah, I wanna show you a bunch of items that I've accumulated within the past year. Like I said, some of them are pre-loved, which again, because I'm always down to find a deal. Um, and yeah, I'll tell you the exact websites that I got. I For pre-loved items, I like to go on the Real Real and also Fashion File or Fashion Pile, whatever it's called. I do have like an invite code uh, for both sites. Nothing is obviously sponsored, um, but I think my code gets you like 10 or 20 bucks off your first order, I think. So if you've been wanting anything designer, but you wanna save some money, I'll leave the links down below. I definitely recommend signing up for both of those sites. They have like vintage Louis Vuitton, Gucci, a ton of things. Like any old item you've been looking for, if someone has pre-loved it, um, it's gonna be on there. So I will leave all that stuff down below and let's just hop into my collection. All right, so my very first Louis Vuitton item ever, like I said, I wanted a travel bag just because I do wanna travel this year with Christian and I wanted to have something high quality that I could keep literally for life that was just made really well. I seen um, this bag on a lot of social media people and I just thought it was gorgeous. I definitely wanted something with the crossbody strap. This one is called the Keep All 60. I believe they have the Keep All 45, 50, this is how not bougie I am. Like I don't even know the names of them. I think it goes from like 40 to 60 based on the size. This one is humongous. Again, I did get it from the Real Real, pre-loved. I think the person who had it before me though, like barely had it because it's in excellent, excellent condition, but it literally still has the tag on it from the Real Real. It's basically just a luggage travel bag. Let me step back here. It's really, really big as you can see. I like how it just has the normal monogram print. 
because it was pre-loved, um, this part of the strap kind of wore out a little bit and got a bit darker, which I like. Super, super big bag. You can attach like your passport cover or your um, like luggage tags right there. It does have the LV monogramming up on the zippers, which I like, just a nice like luxury detail. Um, again, I have the real, real tag. Everything is 100% authentic from the real, real and fashion file. They can guarantee that. And then this one does have the um, body strap, which I really like because the bag is so big and I'm gonna fit so much in here. I like to carry it up on my shoulder rather than just like this because it's gonna be so, so heavy. Um, but yeah, this bag is humongous. You can take this, I believe, as a carry-on, or you could check this bag. Uh, personally, I'm never gonna be like checking any of my Louis Vuitton luggage. It's way too expensive to have an airline like possibly lose it or treat it bad, so I will be taking this on the plane with me. I'm going to the Fit Expo next weekend, and I'm about to go to Miami for the Grant Cardone conference, and I will be taking this. Very happy with this purchase, and I believe I saved like 200 bucks by getting it on the real real. All right, so next is my absolute, absolute favorite everyday crossbody bag. I have been wanting this bag literally probably for like three years, but could never afford it. And even now, I did go ahead and get it pre-loved, again, just to save some money. Um, this one I found on Fashion File. They do have a bunch of these. This is called the Pochette or Poche Matisse. Watch me like butcher everything. Um, I am obsessed with this bag. Obviously, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got the monogram and the Louis Vuitton um, hook right here. It does have some leather up here, which just says Louis Vuitton, Paris, and then you do have the really, really nice, super high quality crossbody strap there. Bunch of different buckles, depending how tall you are, how long you want to wear it. And then we have a huge pocket in the back. A lot of you on Instagram were wanting a review on this bag. Um, when I, I believe I showed my luggage bag and I showed this and like 99% of you just wanted a review on this. You can obviously take this strap off and just wear it like this if that's your vibe. Um, but I love wearing it crossbody. This bag fits so much. I could fit my compact, like touch up makeup, my phone, so much stuff. Right now I just have uh, perfume in there. We just went to Disneyland yesterday so I have all of our Disney stuff. But let me take out my receipts and show you like, I'll just take out everything and show you how big it is. So you get tons of room in here. You have two huge um, pouches right there. I really love the gold detailing. I love the crossbody strap. It is super thick and good quality, of course, just like the way that it's made. Um, I saw this bag on Alexandra, is it Garza? Um, love her, love her YouTube. She has a ton of designer stuff. Um, and she was wearing this, I believe in a few posts last year and I really wanted it. I believe it is sold out on the Louis Vuitton site so you do have to get it pre-loved unless you can find it in a Louis Vuitton store or unless they restock the website. I know it's a bit harder to find, um, but I think I saved a little over hundred bucks by getting it on Fashion File. I know it's not a ton, but it's something, like any discount I can get, I will take it. I will keep this bag forever, it matches everything. And even though I have a few designer bags now, like this is the one I'm wearing every single day. All right, so next, I feel like everyone and their mom has this bag. It is the Neverfull. Um, again, I am like very new to buying designer stuff, so I don't know, but I think that there's like three, three or four sizes of this, like the MM, GM, and the PM, if that's right. I chose to get the biggest one. I did order this online, um, and I will say when I first got it, I thought it was too big. Like I got it in the mail and I opened it, and it was so huge. I'm like, this is gonna be a hassle to carry, because it's like literally huge. This is the biggest one. I think it's the PM. Um, I'll list all the names down below exactly of what I got because I can't like remember um, exactly, but again, I'll just kind of stand up here. Monogram bag, you can pull in the sides right here. It has the really nice leather detailing with the gold. I love how all the straps are sewn on, super nice there. Um, I feel like everyone has this bag. Everyone on social media, even like people in real life, um, it's one of the more affordable designer bags. I see tons of moms with this. It's literally so big. You can fit so much in there. It does have a Louis Vuitton stamp inside and then some gold detailing right here to clasp the bag together. Um, but it is really, really big. Even if I just kind of hold it like this, I feel like it's just huge. Um, I told my mom when I got it, I'm like, it's too big. I'm exchanging it for the smaller size one. And she was like, Jordan, you literally carry your whole life in your purse. You always have so much makeup, your laptop. She's like, just keep it. You'll have plenty of stuff to fill it. Trust me. And she was right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Um, even though it's really, really big again for overnight or just for like going to Starbucks to work, putting my laptop in here. But yeah, I just feel like this is a staple like everyday bag or overnight bag. Um, again, it's one of the uh, more affordable purchases on the site and I also feel like that one is really worth the price because you get this included for free or like free like it's included it's like bundled into the price this actually comes inside the bag at no extra cost it's actually attached um, I think they call it just like a little again I don't know all these luxury terms a cosmetic pouch a purse I don't know what exactly they call it but it's this guy right here just monogram super cute it's got the hook because it does come attached to the bag inside just for like toiletries or whatever you need to carry um, within the bag with you 
I love this. Again, super good quality. You can fit like some lip glosses in there, your cell phone, whatever else you need to throw in your purse without putting it directly on the bottom of the purse to get it dirty. Um, so yeah, I really like this. That comes inside all of the Neverfulls. So next, I did go ahead and get a Zippy wallet a little while back. Um, I feel like, again, this is just like really classic. It can go with any look. You can throw this inside of like a Gucci bag or any other. It doesn't have to be like a Louis Vuitton bag you wear it with. I feel like this is, the monogram print is just classic and can go with anything. And if you don't wanna take a big purse out into the store, you can literally just go in with this. This was not a planned purchase for me. This was nothing I wanted to get and like logged on right away to buy. Um, this was actually on sale on the website with Louis Vuitton. It rarely ever happens that anything is ever on sale. They're such a high quality brand, which hold themselves to a very high standard. So like none of their stuff ever goes on sale. Um, but for whatever reason this, or I guess it's like marked down, not sale. This one does have the pink inside, which I thought was super cool. It's got the monogram in the middle and then it has pink up by the card holders. And then this little tassel guy on the end is pink too, which I thought was cool. Um, it's still obviously expensive because it is a designer item, but it's like affordable for a designer item, if that makes sense. I think it was like 400 something. Um, and again, I just think it's classic monogram. The zipper is obviously incredible quality. Like as long as you take care of it, you can keep this for life. All right, so then the last Louis Vuitton item is also a travel item. This is actually a men's bag just because I loved the prints. This is the only thing I own from Louis Vuitton that's not like the LV monogram. This is actually like the square monogram. I feel like the bags are so big. I just got to stand up to show you. I really liked how this one had a luggage tag on there. Um, it already comes with it. You don't have to buy that separately because these separately are a few hundred just on their own. Um, really good quality um, handles as well. I like all the detailing. It's just got the square prints. This is a lot smaller than the first bag I showed you guys, which was the Keep All 60. I think they call this the Keep All 50 or 45. You'll find it in the men's section online. Um, but again, as you can see from the tag, your girl saved some coin, and I did get this on the real reel. Um, I believe I saved maybe 100 or 200 on this bag. You're not gonna save like thousands, of course, if you wanna get something that's still in incredible condition. But if you are willing to spend like the luxury price of the item, you will save money on those sites. The point is for them to be cheaper than the actual like luxury website itself. I like that this was a bit smaller. The only thing I don't like is when I got it, I totally thought it had a crossbody strap. I was like looking right here for the circle, like where's the shoulder strap? It doesn't have one. I literally was about to like buy a Louis Vuitton shoulder strap um, separately on its own and have it installed onto the side because when it gets so heavy, I don't know if I'll want to carry it just like this. I feel like having it over my shoulder is just so much better to like distribute all the weight in the bag. Again, because this is nothing I would like check. I just don't trust airlines with it, honestly. I would rather take this on the plane with me and make sure that it's safe and that it's like being taken care of well. Um, but if you like this bag, here, but you don't want something so big, like this is literally huge, I would go with the Keep All 50 or the 45. Still incredible quality, obviously still gorgeous, just a little bit smaller. Okay, that's it for Louis Vuitton. Again, that is not a one day purchase or even a week purchase or a month purchase or anything. That's all over time. I just wanted to kind of compile in this video everything that I have to share with you guys like all at once. And a ton of you had requested that. Um, and then actually the only other designer designer thing that I own whatsoever is this Gucci bag. I don't have like a whole collection of Celine's and like I'm not about to show you 20 more Gucci bags. I just got one little thing from Gucci recently and I think I'm actually gonna exchange this. I wanted to show it today because I still have it in my possession but I do think I'm gonna exchange it because this bag was 2000 and already like jaw drop. It's already a ton of money to invest in a bag. I wanted to get it because the gold and black I feel like goes with every outfit. Um, and I, I know I will get so much use out of it, but it looked so much bigger on the website. And I even read the like item description of how big it was. And I was expecting it to be like a little, like from here to here, a little bit bigger. It might look big on camera, but you can barely fit anything in here. I can barely shove my iPhone in here. And the way that the bag is made on the bottom, it like goes up into, it like gets smaller as you open the top. So it's hard to like shove things in there. And I'm someone again with my son where I still need to carry like a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm always carrying like makeup, like there is no way this wallet could fit in there. Um, I'll leave the name of this bag down below because I don't remember exactly, but it's really, really small. It definitely looks so much bigger on the site. Like when you open it at the top, it barely opens. I can shove my phone in there, but like the bottom is bigger, but it gets really small right here. This is really stiff. So in order to like shove a lot in there, you really just can't. And for $2,000, like I am not, I don't just have two extra thousand that I can just blow and like just keep this sitting looking pretty in my closet. If I'm gonna spend that much, it's gonna be on a bag that I'm gonna use all the time that I really love that I can put more stuff in. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and exchange this for the, the exact same bag that's a little bit bigger. I know on Instagram, a lot of the social media like, um, fashion girls and like popular people have this bag without this little thing at the top. Um, or they have like the, 
like the Gucci fanny pack. I know that's really in right now. I could never wear a fanny pack and I can never spend that much on a fanny pack. Like I feel like that trend is still really old. Like why is, I don't know why that's coming back. But I really like that this one was different because it had this little handle up top, which I thought was like super cute. Um, but ultimately I want something that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of if I'm gonna spend this much So I do like it like the chain is really good quality That's another thing the chains really heavy and it has really cool clamps I've never seen clamps like this where it's kind of like a hexagon right there. I don't know. It's pretty dope Oh, and it does have the heart on the back again, which is really nice quilted material Obviously extremely nice material like made super well. I just wish that it was a bit bigger So yeah, that's actually it you guys. I don't have like 20 like I said 20 or 30 like Gucci, Celine. I don't like a huge, huge collection to show you, but you know, this is I feel a good amount of stuff and I've never, like I said, shown anything designer on my page. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I do feel extremely grateful to even be able to spend money to get myself something nice like this and I credit you guys for supporting me and believing in me and buying my courses and my eBooks and you know, letting me have this social media business, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but I also credit it to myself for being a super hard worker, being very diligent on saving, budgeting. You guys budgeting and couponing, like don't come at me in the comments like, oh, you don't budget anymore, you're bougie now. No, no, no. The reason I've been able to buy this stuff is because I have been a diligent saver and I have budgeted and couponed like my whole life, you know? And that's just the reason I've been able to even get my savings to a point where I'm able to buy something like this. And again, like you guys know, I talk all, all about um, having a really good money mindset with wealth and the law of attraction. You can't be scared to let money go or to purchase something high end. Money is something that's always coming and always going. It's a, it's an exchange, right? If you p put money out, you're going to get money back. That's just the way of the world. You put money out, you work hard, you get another paycheck. Money is always circulating and you really have to have a good money mindset in order for more money and more wealth to find you. But you have to be a hard worker and also take actionable steps toward that revenue. But if you have a good money mindset, more will come back to you. So I kind of just told myself this year, you know what? I've been saving up for a really long time. I'm going to let myself just treat myself, buy a few things and let's get real. When you feel good about yourself or you're wearing a good outfit or you got a nice bag on and you feel feel wealthy, you attract more wealth back to you. So every single thing I have in this video, you guys are 100% able to attain for yourself and for your own life. I really believe that. And you need to start believing that as well. So please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed. I would really appreciate it. And enter my Louis Vuitton giveaway. First high-end luxury giveaway I have ever done. Make sure you thumbs up this video. You're gonna have to leave a comment below and you must be subscribed. You must have hit the notification bell. Again, I will be checking just because I only wanna buy this item for someone who really does support me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this video was a little bit different, but I hope you're open-minded to it and you did enjoy. And if you wanted to purchase any of these bags, I hope it gave you like a little mini review on them. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.